Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trail Makers video. Today we are going to be doing something really cool because everyone around me seems to be trying to break the sound barrier in different ways. So today I'm going to break the sound barrier in my own way and I'm actually going to be using the large propeller. Now this is one of the new pieces we got in the Airborne expansion and let's find out how many propellers we need to uh, break the sound barrier. So I'm thinking we need something really aerodynamic and light. I think the best option for this would be the go-kart seat, I think. Let's just put it behind. But uh, what I'll do is just slip the vehicle like this and uh, let's just see how fast we go. Off we go. I'm gonna have to fight this thing with lean controls. However, we're going 220, 230, 240 miles per hour, nearly 250. Uh, 265 there, okay. So, I believe in miles per hour, it's 780 something to break the sound barrier. And I think the problem I had with this build, this go-kart seat isn't the best for this. So let's try the aerodynamics on the cockpit and let's see if this changes the outcome. So let's give this a quick test, guys. Yeah, it seems to be wanting to lean me back again. I don't know, I guess these builds are just not even. All right, we're going. 230 miles per hour. Now we are heavier than the go-kart seat. That makes sense. But yeah, that's pretty good for uh, one propeller. It is pretty strong. But uh, what we need to do, guys, is add a whole ton of more propellers to see if we can break the sound barrier. All right, so we have one propeller. Let's go for um, a second propeller. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to attach this. Uh, let's use some grid blocks, actually. And then what I can probably do is utilize the, uh, let's see, there's four across. I can utilize these flat connectors, guys. And I uh, just put them on like so. And let's give that a quick test. All right, two propellers. Oh, okay. 340, 350 miles per hour. 360. Wow, okay. All right, now I'm losing control of uh, the direction, but we're hitting almost 390. Whoa, nearly 400 miles per hour going sideways. We're pretty much halfway there, I think. This probably might not even take a lot of propellers. Let's keep going. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we're off. We're going. We're going, guys. All right, instantly 400 miles per hour. 500? Can we get 500 miles per hour, guys? Uh, going downwards, yes. If we're going towards the ground, we can surpass 500 miles per hour. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh okay. Alright, so, let's just see our aerodynamics on the uh, horizontal axis. So, we're green, yellow, and uh, I'm glad these flat connectors, they don't produce any drag, which is good. So what I can do, guys, the same again. Let's just add another propeller on top. Will this be enough to break the sound barrier? Oh, okay. Alrighty. We've hit just about 500 miles per hour. We're very close now, guys. We're getting closer with every propeller. 550, can we make it? Nice, okay, so let's try and uh, aim down. I just need to use my lean controls, guys, once again. Let's go down, come on, 600 miles per hour when we're going downwards. Plummeting towards the earth and, oh, guys, we barely made it to 600 miles per hour. Okay, well, that's good to know. And now what I can do as well, guys, uh, to be a little bit more interesting, is add a propeller to the rear of the uh, cockpit here and actually switch the controls around. So this propeller at the back will be producing a reverse motion and it will just be going in the same direction as the rest of the propellers. So let's give that a test now. We actually have one, two, three, four, five propellers. Definitely feel the added power with that extra prop on the back there. 550, can we get that? Ooh, nearly. Okay, it's because we're going upwards and we're having a bit of drag. So let's try and lean the build down towards the earth. 570. Come on, 600. Yes, we have 600. We're like nearly 200 off the sound barrier now, I think. 640. Ooh, and I hit the... <laughs> I hit the edge of the test zone map here, guys. Wow, okay. What I'm going to do is add another propeller. 
Let's just keep adding things and see what happens, guys, essentially. 500, let's hit 600. Always gets about to uh, nearly just under 600 and then it struggles to go any further because just um, we're climbing upwards, guys. So what I need to do is actually try and flip this thing around. You know what? Let's just kill the power. Oh, no. <laughs> I hit the ceiling of the test zone. I was trying to flip the plane or whatever around. Well, okay. It looks like I need to add some control surfaces to this thing so we can get the full potential out of this. Let's give it a quick test again with the uh, six propellers. All right. That's better. I can uh, somewhat control the direction now. I don't really need to add roll control to this thing, guys, because once again, I can just lean for that. But uh, 600 miles per hour, can we make it? Yes. All right, we're going down now. We're plummeting down. I really need to hit 700 miles per hour as quick as we can. Can we? Oh, guys, it's looking close. No, I don't think so. Ah, damn it. <laughs> and once again, I'm running like the flash. Wow. Seven propellers. Can we break the speed of sound? Let's do it. I just want to go horizontally now. Just, just go as fast as we can sideways. All right. That's it. 600 miles per hour already. Come on. Let's keep it up. And, oh, I didn't have enough um, altitude there. It was just falling. Damn. Okay. All right. Let's keep trying. All right. 680. 690. Come on. We just need 700. There we go. All right. Okay. We've made some progress. 700 miles per hour is good. It's a good sign. We can work with that. And I'm gonna actually increase the uh, angle on my uh, ailerons here so I can get a little bit more pitch because it's quite difficult to maneuver with this thing. All right, that should be good. And let's go for nine propellers. Nine propellers should be enough. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Let's do it. Off we go. Oh, wow. This thing is fast. 600 miles per hour. And we're just going up, guys. We're going straight up, and we're hitting those numbers. Let's um, let's aim down. Oh God, guys, what is happening? Um, all right, okay, okay. Let's just kill the engines. It's because I uh, added all that angles on the ailerons. Now we're going down towards the test zone. Do we have enough space and speed to break the sound barrier? Come on, 700. Come on, guys. So close. Yes. We did it! Wow! We finally broke the sound barrier! Okay. Alrighty. Okay, we're gonna crash here. Let's pull up. Oh, no! <laughs> wow! Woo! I'm zooming. I'm zooming like the flash. Awesome. Well, guys, it seems having, um... What is it? Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine propellers going straight down to the earth can break the sound barrier that is good news however i want to break the sound barrier going straight upwards so let's go for 10 let's go 10 props baby let's go Alrighty. 500 looking pretty good so far 600 Ooh, we're trying to trying to just pass 700 nope i don't think so uh, we're stuck at about 680 for the threshold of the speed here. All right, good to know, good to know. Just means we need more propellers, guys. 11 propellers, 680. Come on, 700. Ooh, we've just passed 700, but it's not quite enough. All right, so um, the aerodynamics on the nose of the props is yellow, so it's not the best. I'm wondering, though, if I can find a way to add aerodynamics, which is should be pretty easy. I can probably use one of the cone pieces, right? How good is the cone piece for aerodynamics? Oh, it's green. Okay. All right, so 11 propellers and an aerodynamic nose. We're going to pierce through the sky now. Yep. Oh, I can feel the difference. 700. Whoa, we did it. Wow, it was the aerodynamics the whole time. I'm pretty sure I can remove a few propellers now and actually find out the genuine amount of props I need for uh, this to work with an aerodynamic nose. So we have 11, I think. Yeah, we do. 
I'm pretty confident that nine could be enough. So get rid of those. Bring the cone down. And that is, let's just double check. That's nine propellers with an aerodynamic nose, guys. Can we break the sound barrier? It looks like it. Wow. Yes. Okay, well, I'm pretty satisfied, guys. We did it. We broke the sound barrier once again there. And it just goes to show, guys, aerodynamics is key to um, speed in this game. Physics with the aerodynamics, you really need to utilize them because it seems this whole time all I should have done is use a nose cone on the front of the propeller, which is strange. I don't quite know why the actual propeller block itself doesn't have green aerodynamic arrows. It's pretty interesting, though, that I can just fly around Going faster than the speed of sound right now. Going Mach 1. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, guys, I had a lot of fun breaking the sound barrier. I hope you guys enjoyed this little... Oh, there we go. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little experiment here to see if we can break the speed of sound with just the large propellers. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!